You never think about getting older when you're younger, but before you know it, it creeps up on you and you're there already. Before You Know It looks at three gay men, Dennis, Ty, and Robert, as they face the challenges of growing old. If you're not young, if you're not pretty, see ya, you become invisible. Aging is something, you know, that happens to everyone. I really don't feel very old. And when I look in the mirror, I say, who the heck is that? Dennis was the very first person I officially spoke to. I found Rainbow Vista online, the same way that Dennis did, just by searching on the internet. Rainbow Vista is a gay retirement facility. It's basically for 55 and older seniors where they can live their lifestyle and talk about things that they want to. This current senior population really is kind of the living embodiment of what some people are calling the gay civil rights movement. I became very interested in SAGE, which is services and advocacy for GLBT elders. We had to be able to offer people a safe space where they could come and talk about what their needs are. And since at this point I was looking at a senior active living facility, and now I was looking at a community organization, it was also really important for me to think about what I considered maybe one of the very first gay communities, which is the bar scene. I arrived at Galveston in the afternoon, asked around, and by 9 p.m., I was already going into that bar, walked right in, and Robert sitting in the stool. The oldest gay bar in the state of Texas with the longest running drag show ever. Everybody's welcome as long as you're a lady or gentleman. I don't care if you're gay, are you straight, are you bisexual, as long as you have fun. This toast is for Robert Slaffy. I wanted people to just really connect on a very um, fundamental level. Aging, some people just sat at home and waste away. Not me. Yay! What is it like to go on a cruise and everyone around you is much younger? There's a stigma attached to being by yourself. What does it feel like to set up a booth and be a little nervous that there might be some pushback there? Out of 30 some odd years of having Harlem Week, I've never seen an LGBT organization doing tabling or talking about their programs. We um, advocate for, for seniors who happen to be lesbian or gay or bisexual. Every now and then I'll get one of those like smirks, you know. The gay, the gay, don't come over to the gay. the issues of self-reflection, trying to understand who you are, that introspection and trying to express it to the world and trying to hopefully have them embrace it and be supportive of it, I do think is universal. One of the most important things is to like yourself. If society doesn't like it, then it's too bad for society. It's about acknowledging and maybe trying to understand your identity and trying to be able to express that and communicate that. You hear what they said to us? What? Congratulations, guys. Oh, that's about as real as it's gonna get. That concept of family really can be, you know, your best friends, it can be your neighbors, it can be who you live with, it can be a bar that you attend. All the customers are, I'll call, I'll call them all family, because we all look after each other. If one of us is sick, then the rest of them mean we gotta go over and check on each other. I love you. I know, it's true. Mwah, happy Thanksgiving. Community is key in terms of, you know, creating some kind of support system um, for, for our senior populations. I would never have dreamt that the quality of my life would be what it is today.